Hi, I'm Ryan. I'm going to show you how to use AutoML. If you want to jump ahead, here are the timestamps. First, we're going to set up both AutoML and Google Cloud Storage. Then we'll upload our images, build a tag overlay file so we don't have to tag things manually. Then we'll do the AutoML training and we'll test our vision model in Python. The first thing I'm going to do is go to Google Cloud and go to Console. Now, if you're just testing AutoML out, it's a lot easier to make a new project because when you delete this project, it will delete your storage and it'll delete everything that has an incurred cost. So I'll make a new project. I'll call it Vision and Create. Okay. Now I'm going to grab the project ID and I'm going to drop it into a text editor. We're going to reference this soon. And I'll type AutoML and I'll click Vision and I'll choose Image Classification and Get Started and then enable AutoML API. And now it's enabled. We could have also got there from the hamburger menu. Then under artificial intelligence, we'll see vision and just click that and you get to the same page. Now I'm gonna leave this tab up. I'm gonna open another tab and just type storage. I'll choose cloud storage and I need to create a bucket. So AutoML is gonna read our bucket for all of the images and the tag overlay file. And one thing we need to make sure is this isn't just a name that's unique to ourselves. This has to be globally unique. So I'll make DIY flowers, and I'm gonna have a vision system trained to learn what every type of flower is. Press continue. I'll just choose region, it's the lowest cost. And then to make things easy, I'm gonna choose US Central one. This is important because that's where the auto ML engine is. Continue. Standard storage, and continue. And I'll leave all the other defaults, and create. Now we can upload them manually, and there's no problem with that but using a lot of images, it's a lot more helpful to use one upload command. In order to upload from the command line, we need to install GSUtil. There's a link in the description to this page. You only have to do this once. I'm just gonna show you the steps quickly, so if you don't have GSUtil, you're ready. Okay, when the download finishes, just extract it to its own folder, and inside there you'll see an install.sh file. So all you need to do in the command line is type dot slash install.sh, and the Google Cloud SDK will be installed for you. And all of the default settings are fine. Okay, from here I'm gonna go over to the folder that has all of my training and test images. I'll open a new command line. Now to upload all the images to my bucket, I'm in the bucket details and I'm gonna copy the name and I'll paste it in the text editor. The path is gonna be gs colon slash slash and then your bucket name. So I'll take that path and we can see that the folder I'm in right now has five folders itself. A folder of daisy images, dandelions, roses, sunflowers, and tulips. So to get all of these into my bucket, the command is gsutil, then minus m means multi-thread the next part of the command, cp, which means copy. So we're gonna multi-thread a copy to make this faster. Minus r means recursively copy, so any number of subfolders. And then I wanna copy from the local path to the storage path. So local is dot, just where I am. And then the storage is gs colon slash slash, then the name of the bucket. And I'm gonna go one step further. I want everything to be in a subfolder called flower images. So I'll press enter. And you might see that the last two or three percent, it just hangs. And I don't need every file, and it probably has actually uploaded everything, so I'm just gonna stop the command. I'll go back over to the bucket, I'll refresh. It made the flower images folder. And when we go inside, we see daisies, dandelions, roses, sunflowers, and tulips. So if I go inside one of them, great. So we have pictures in here. So the next thing to do is build a tag over. We can see that all the daisies are in their folder, all the roses are in theirs, but we have to let AutoML know what images have what tags, so how to understand it. So to do that, I'm gonna go over to Python. So the output of this program is gonna be one text file, and every line is gonna be a listing of the path to an image, comma, and then the tag I wanna use in AutoML. So first I'm gonna add my imports. Next thing I'm gonna do is bring in my globals. So I wanna know where my project is, my local path to the images, and then the path in cloud storage where the images were just uploaded. Next, I'm gonna create an output file, my tag overlay. It's gonna be at this local path and it'll be called tags.csv. I'll open the tag overlay file, I'll write to it, and I'll gather all the images into one list. So now we just write the get image paths function. And this just says that for the local path we give it, it'll recurse through all the files. And as long as it ends with a JPEG or a PNG, it'll take the full path, append it to our list and return that list. Now we'll take that list of images, we'll loop through each one of them, and we'll build the tag name for each image. Build tag name just says, get the directory, isolate that directory name, the parent directory, and return it as the tag. 
After we get the tag, we'll just grab the image name. We'll append it to the storage path. Now we have the full GS storage path. And we'll print it out before we actually write it to the file, just to make sure everything's right. Okay, so I'll run this file. It's tagoverlay.py. And here we go. So we'll take one entry. We'll see on my local path, we have a file whose parent is tulips. So comma tulips, it made the right tag name. And then GS. DIY flowers, flower images, tulips, and then the file name. So everything is set for my overlay file. I'll just bring the F write in so it'll write to the file. I'll run it once more. And now I have a tags.csv file. I go look over there. Everything in a roses folder has comma roses. Everything in sunflower is comma sunflowers. So the overlay is ready. I'll go back to the bucket and I'm just going to upload this file by itself. So right alongside all of my images, I have the tags.csv file. And now we're ready to train our image classifier. So for that, I'm back over on AutoML. I'm in Datasets, and I'll choose New Dataset. For this project, I want it to be simple and straightforward, so I'm going to use Single Label Classification, which means the whole image represents a daisy or a rose. It can't be object detection or multiple where there's different flowers involved. I'll create Dataset, and now I'll select a CSV from Cloud Storage. I'll come down to Browse, and inside of Flower Images, we have our tags.csv. I'll click Select and Continue. I'll come over to images and it's already importing all of the images for us. Okay, everything's been imported. I can see all the pictures are showing up and they have their tags listed below. So now I'll just go over to train and start training. I'm going to use cloud hosted continue and I'd really suggest going to this pricing guide because this can get expensive. I'm going to use the minimum amount, which is eight node hours, and I'll tell it to deploy the model once it's done training and start training. So it's really nice to actually spend a little more time on what the graphs mean, and you can go into the evaluation as well. But what we're going to do is go straight over to test and use. So I'm going to scroll down to Python. Okay, so this is a Python script we're going to run from our computers, which means we need to have a service account. So I'll make a new tab. I'll type service. I'll choose APIs and services, credentials, create credentials, service account, and the account name, I'll just call it Python Vision, create and continue. And for select role, under quick access, currently used, you can choose AutoML service agent. I'm going to choose owner and continue. Done. And now I'll click on that Python Vision service account. I'll click keys, add key, create new key, JSON, create. And the pop up on screen right now says this is a private key. Anyone who has access to it has access to our project. So I'm going to go in and I'm actually going to rename the key with that in mind. I'll call it vision.privatekey.json. I've moved it into my project folder. Okay, back on predict.py. I'm adding in an import to OS, and then I'm gonna add in a variable of credentials path. And that'll be a path to the private key that we just downloaded. Then os.environment google application credentials is gonna be credentials path. Now, in order to run this, we need to add one library. So for that, I'll type pip install double dash upgrade google-cloud.automl. Okay, so now we have the code. I'll scroll down a little more and to run that script, that's the command. So to run it, I'll type python predict.py dot slash real world images slash roses slash one of the random pictures it hasn't been trained on. And now I'll add in the items from below and let's see what it does. All right, okay, so this is run. Um, classification with a 99.6% accuracy, it believes that we just showed it a picture of a rose, which is right there exactly that, a rose. Let's try once more. I want something difficult. So this path is daisy slash, and then the file name, and it thinks it's a daisy. I hope this really helped. If you have any questions, let me know, and I respond to all of the comments. Thank you.